Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about five tips for scheduling your driving test. In this video, I'll be going over five simple pieces of advice that will help you when you're scheduling your driving test to give you the best chance at actually passing your driving test. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Tip number one is to get enough practice. I know that you're probably tempted to schedule your driving test as early as possible because you want to get your license. But if you schedule your driving test as early as you possibly can and you haven't had enough practice, you're going to be less likely to get your license because you're going to be more likely to fail. So instead of trying to schedule your driving test at the earliest possible moment, base it on your practice. Don't base it on a timeline. Base it on your readiness factor. <clears throat> Only schedule your driving test when you've had enough practice and you're actually ready to take that test and pass that test. There's no guarantee that you'll pass, but you can make sure that you're going to be most likely to pass the test. The second tip for scheduling your driving test is to pick a time without traffic. Now, if you do your driving test in traffic, you're going to be more likely to encounter a variety of situations that will hinder your ability to pass. Whether it's an emergency vehicle approaching and you have to deal with that situation, whether it's an accident happening, whether it's someone tailgating, tailgating you, there are so many different situations that you can be in that are more likely to happen when you're driving with traffic. So when you pick a time, try and figure out when traffic times are where you live and pick a time without traffic. Generally speaking, <clears throat> Most places, most busy cities will have more traffic on the way to work and home from work. So try and pick a time for your driving test that is in between those times, like right in the middle of those times will be the most ideal time. Tip number three for scheduling your driving test is to try to pick a day with good weather. Now you know, you can never be certain about the weather, of course, right? Even professionals can't be certain about the weather. But you know when it's more likely to rain, when it's more likely to snow, blah, blah, blah. So just pick a time that is less likely to offer any bad weather conditions. You're never going to be certain and you should always be prepared to drive in the rain or the snow and learn how to drive in the rain or the snow so that you know and, and the fog and, and the, every situation. But try to pick a time, a date, or, you know, a date within a month or within a week where it's less likely to be snowing or raining or foggy or anything like that. Tip number four is to pick a time where the sun won't be shining in your eyes. Now this one is a little bit easier. Now most people know that when they drive to work or when they drive home from work, if they're driving basically at dusk or dawn, you know, and the sun is right on the horizon, whether it's in that direction or that or that or that, it doesn't matter the direction because you're going to be driving in all different directions for the test. But when the sun is <clears throat> like right on the horizon, then that is when the sun is going to be most likely to shine in your eyes. So pick a time when the sun is already in the sky. You're still probably going to have to deal with it, but make sure that the sun is as high up as possible and figure out what time that is based on when you're taking your driving test, like what month, what week, and so forth. And it's going to give you a better chance of passing. Because if you're constantly flipping your sun visor, putting your sunglasses on and off, putting your hand to shield your eyes, you're going to be less likely to, like, less likely to pass. And the examiner is going to be looking at you and wondering, if you're doing this safely, if you're doing this, why are you taking your hands off the wheel to put your sunglasses on? Why is only one hand on the wheel when you're going like this? So, you know, just pick a time when the sun's nice and up and in the sky. Tip number five for scheduling your driving test is to work it out with your instructor. Now, if you've taken driving school and you have a driving instructor, if you work out your test date with them, along with their schedule, like coordinate your schedule and theirs, you can actually figure out how to get a lesson in the morning, uh, which will be very beneficial for you. And also you can figure out uh, when you can use their car, because I always recommend using your driving instructor's car if possible. So figure out a time that works for you and them. This way you can get a lesson in the morning of the driving test, like a few hours before the test, not right before, a couple of hours before the test. So you have some time to debrief and relax and think about your driving skills while not like practicing behind the wheel and also you'll be able to use their car as long as they give you permission to and it's worth it to use their car even if you have to pay a little bit extra uh, because using their car has the benefit of giving the examiner a second brake pedal most likely the car is equipped with a second brake pedal which makes them feel at ease and your driving instructor will be most uh, more likely to maintain their car properly which will work out in your favor as well and that's it those are five tips for scheduling your driving test if you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.